Members of this body, if we stand for anything, it's for doing what is right. We give bills the opportunity to be heard in committee. We give the public an opportunity to give their input. We're able to have that conversation. We're able to know what their feelings are and what their thoughts are. There was extensive hearings that the Education Committee heard to handle bills such as ESAs, Education Savings Account, also known as vouchers. The committee, the committee chose not to give any of those bills a vote because there were problems with those bills. The numbers quite simply didn't add up. So we have a motion now to force this body to accept Th this is the 80 pages. This is the 80 pages, and I plainly ask you, it is, is it the chairman's intention to force these 80 pages, which are unvetted, they are unheard in committee? This is not the right way to do this, and we are better than this in this committee. Our kids matter in the state of Texas, and they are better than backroom shady dealings, which is what this is right here. Members, members, we will not engage in personalities. Mr. Canales, Mr. Speaker, purpose. if the gentleman would yield. The gentleman, yield. Yield for, gentleman yields. So I'm not part of the committee, but I, I want to ask you a question. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what exactly is actually transpiring here. The permission to meet for the Committee on Public Education to consider this bill, and this bill is 80 pages different from the original bill? Correct. And the bill that that hearing was held, uh, is there going to be an actual hearing with witnesses on this bill? There's not, there's no intention to have a hearing. If there is a hearing, then I think as a, as a body and as a chairman, I will never stand in the way for transparency and the ability to have a hearing and let the public be heard. But so that is not the intention of this motion. So you're not asking for that this bill not be heard. You're asking that a hearing be held so that witnesses can actually come forward and testify and actually comment on the compilation of what's now before you. That is correct. Thank you. I have you. No, no, no objection whatsoever to this bill being heard. Thank you, Representative. Mr. Speaker? Mr. Canales, for a purpose. I move that the comments that, uh, be reduced to writing on the, mo on the permission to meet the Committee of Public Education. Members of the motion's objection, Chair has done sorted. Dr. Buckley has asked permission from the House um, for the uh, Committee on Public Education to meet. The question occurs on the, he's already spoken. No, this is subject to the three minute proton rule. He did, we done, yes. The question occurs on the, on permission to meet from the Committee on Public Education. A record vote has been requested, record vote has been granted. The clerk ring the bell. Should Dr. Buckley voting aye? Should Mr. Bales voting nay? Have all members voted? There have been 65 eyes and 76 nays. Permission to meet has not been granted.